Jesus did so many amazing miracles as we've been reading about. Your word says, for those who believe in me, even greater things will they do. For those who believe in me, even greater things, even greater things. I mean, Jesus was walking around, miracles left and right. (laughs) A woman just touched the hem of his garment and was healed. And he said, even greater things even greater things. And so, again, I felt this challenge this week as some of us were talking about, we were just reminiscing on the miracles we've seen in our community. It was so life-giving to look back and remember. And so that's just our, our, our prayer tonight, that God is not done. He has made a way for all of us. He has made a way for all of us. He's continuing to make a way. And so we're going to believe for even greater miracles in the name of Jesus. Because you 
never made a way and you keep making a way, Lord. You keep making a way. When we can't see what's ahead of us, when we can't understand the plan, Lord, you make a way. Where there is no way, you make a way, God. Because you are the God of miracles. We serve a wonder-working God. A miraculous God. A miraculous God. Jesus, we thank you that you are a miraculous God. That nothing is impossible with you. You always make a way. So right now we believe, Lord. We say we believe. Help our unbelief, God. Let faith arise in this room now. help but quote the time where we were on a mission trip and I got hit in the face with a saw blade. It was like a little electric saw and it just flew off and slapped me in the face and we all thought I was dead and uh, including myself. I was waiting to just get called up to the Lord uh, but shout out to Steph White. She uh, kind of turned my shoulder to see if I was like dead or not because I mean I like I was literally cutting a metal door frame and then next thing you know I got hit in the face and, and it rolled off and uh, her reaction confirmed my thought that I was dead. But as people kind of kept walking up to me and looking, I was like, well, maybe I'm not. And uh, I literally had like no marks from getting hit in the face with a blade that I was just using to cut uh, an electric power, you know what I'm saying, tool. Um, and, it, and it's just it's crazy to think about standing here only because he made a way. Like, I, I mean, so many people get hurt far worse with far less, right? And, uh, and I just think as we sing that, it's so, it's so hard not to like really consider that, that I'm literally only standing here because he made a way. But I know I'm not the only person, right? I know I'm not the only person who 
God has made a way for, or whether it be an accident, whether it be maybe something at birth, whether it be uh, j just a situation you walked yourself into that God walked you out of. Um, I, I just, I just want to make sure we're, we're making it tangible, right? Because like we're, we're singing a song, but the song is based off of real miracles that we've experienced. But if you haven't yet, right, we serve a God who still does work, right? So, so it, it may be in your future. So I, I just want to make sure we're singing from that spirit um, that, that He does and He will. You know what I mean? Looked as if it was over 